Absolutely. Now, obviously, a big part of this interview is going to be about your new song, Soltera. And I wanted to know, what was the inspiration behind Soltera? Well, actually, I I was going through a breakup and um, I had written this super, super sad bolero um, just like a year prior to actually recording the song. And I had forgotten that I even posted it on Instagram or anything. And then one day I went into the studio with this producer named Chistom. He's Colombian. Um, and he was showing me a couple beats. I was showing him some of my songs, whatever. And then I showed him the bolero and he was like, you know, it's a little sad, but we could definitely make something out of this. And that is where Soltera came from. Now, obviously a big part of the song is about being in a, maybe a toxic relationship or a relationship that's no good for you and finding out that you're better off being single than ill accompanied. So yeah. I wanted to ask you, for the for the women that are out there that may be in these toxic relationships, what would be your advice that you would give them? Well, uh, you definitely want to start noticing when it's toxic. Listen to your friends because your friends know better than you. They're not clouded by the rose colored glasses. And at the end of the day, I mean, being single isn't the worst thing in the world. And that's what the song is all about. That like, if you're in a toxic relationship, like ultimately you're better off alone, having your own good time without any additional drama. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I agree with that. I agree with that. Now, yeah. now talking about being single, what are the pros and cons to being single during a pandemic? Well, definitely nothing. You, you're not seeing anybody new. So you don't have any, any worries. You don't have to be on the apps asking like, hey, when was the last time you got tested? Like, are you going out? Like, and also at the same time, like you get to pick and tie, like choose what you want to do with your time. So it's just, it's more convenient that way. I feel like during a pandemic, like it's like, do you really want to go out and date right now? Hmm. True. Oh. True. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, another thing I wanted to ask you is you are an up and coming artist, right? You're you're getting your name out there. And I think this song is really going to help you because I really think it's a really, really catchy song. Thank and you. no, absolutely. And I wanted to ask you, what type of artist do you envision yourself being in the future? Do you kind of have an idea of what you want your future to look like? Well, yeah, you know, everybody has those dreams. I want to sing in Madison Square Garden. I want to, you know, I want to go on tour. I want to travel. Um, whenever anybody asks me that question, I usually define myself as a pop urban artist. Um, and that's just, you know, reggaeton, Spanish music. I like making music that makes you dance. So um, if my track can make me dance, then like that's what makes me happy with a track. So I'm just excited to like share it with people live and see them actually dance to my music, you know? Absolutely. And how does it feel, though, when you actually do see people playing your music? Is it kind of still surreal? Yeah. yeah, it feels good. Honestly, like, I always say this, singing live, there's no experience like a concert. Like, you really remember your first concert, even as a fan, that you decided to go to, you know? Because it's this, like, change of energy that you really don't find anywhere else, where, like, everybody's singing together, and everybody's having a good time, and everybody's dancing together. It's, like, one of those things that we really don't have right now that I miss. Absolutely. And then, is it true that you also want to maybe dabble in other arts as well? Like I've heard that maybe you want to go into acting as well. Is that is that really yeah. a thing? Yeah, I mean, I've, I, I was a theater kid when I was a kid. Um, so I always did musical theater. I was always doing musicals. In college, I did musicals. So like I've always wanted to dabble in acting. Um, I'm a very creative person. So like anything I could really dabble or like get my hands into creatively, I, I want to do. So hopefully the Netflix show is going to come through. I don't know. Oh, hey, Let's hopefully, see. hopefully, <laughs> hey, absolutely, I hope so, that would be pretty cool. Now, yeah. now, random question, I just came up with this one right now. What, what's your favorite movie and your favorite song growing up? Growing up, hmm, well, growing up, I was a huge Disney fan, like, I watched all the princess movies and like it was like the only thing that I would watch so like if you quiz me on any Disney movie I could probably answer all your questions very well um so I don't know Mulan was like one of my favorites when I was a kid and then um I just want to say like pairing to the movie reflection was like my jam when I was a kid it was like what it was so and is it safe to say that Christina Aguilera was like a big inspiration for you 
A hundred percent. I love her. I grew up watching her concerts. Um, I think she's amazing and she's a diva and I want to be just like her. So, <laughs> <laughs> so and was that really like your, your, out of all the artists back when you were growing up, that was number one? It was Christina Aguilera, um, Shakira, J-Lo, those pop divas that were like definitely on the rise when I was a kid. It was just what I loved to listen to. And now after Soltera comes out and everybody, you know, this, this, it kind of has its moment in the sun. What's going to be the next thing that we should keep an eye out when it comes to your music? Well, I have, like I said, I have a lot of stuff planned for next year. Um, you're going to recognize my sound as one that makes you want to dance. Um, and if you want to keep posted with me and, you know, keep in touch with like everything that I'm doing, you can always follow me on Instagram, which is at Maria Pino Music. And you will always, always know what's going on. Absolutely. Now, before I let you go, I would regret it if I didn't ask you. Could you sing us a little bit of Soltera? Of course! Let's do it! Jam session! All right, <laughs> a little piece. No mereces que te quiera Yo te daba amor Tú solo buscabas aventuras pasajeras Si quieres jugar, vete con cualquiera De amor no he visto nadie que se muera Te juro que no seré la primera También merezco a alguien que me quiera Y si no fuiste tú, me quedo soltera Again, thank you so much for that. I'm telling you, that song is so catchy. Again, thank you so much. No, thank you for, for all your time. I wish you the best. I wish you all the success in the world. I hope that Netflix show ends up coming your way. I, I'm telling you, I think it's going to happen. So I wish you the best mm -hmm. in all of 2021. Continue to be safe. And again, all the best. Thanks. I'll keep you posted. Thanks for having me here.